Good morning, isolationists. Hope you're doing okay. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the owl and the pussycat and how it's actually about a marriage of convenience. So it was written by Edward Lear back in 1871. It was written for his friend's daughter, Janet. Now, Janet's father was called John and her mother was called Catherine. When John and Catherine got together, it became very clear to Catherine that John was into men. And in fact, he was having a relationship with another man. Now, from Catherine's diaries, we can see that she didn't really like sleeping with men anyway. And so the two came to a conclusion. They had a discussion that basically John was allowed to have low relationships with other men as long as he had a high friendship with his wife. And the two raised children and were actually very much in love even if it wasn't romantic or sexual. They raised children, and those children even knew about their father's sexuality. So in Victorian times, this would have been very rare. And in the poem, the owl represents John, and the pussycat represents Catherine. Their union is one of love, even if it wasn't traditional love. It worked for them.